What up ninjas? We're gonna do some really cool baseball bat chokes today. Super stoked about these. I've wanted to show this series for a minute now. Okay, so we're gonna start in side control. I'm Chris. Before a baseball bat choke, we're gonna do a, we're gonna use the tail of the gi instead of the traditional hands inside the gi, but it's still gonna be the same position as that you'd hold a baseball bat. So here I am in side control, and I wanna make a lot of pressure on Chris's neck here so that I can get this gi opened up. Sometimes it's gonna kinda of naturally open when we're training, and sometimes I'm gonna to have to do a little bit to get it open. So to help myself, I'm gonna create a lot of pressure on his head right here, a lot of weight towards my left side. As I take my right hand, I'm gonna slide it out, I'm gonna put my thumb inside, I'm gonna rip it right open. And I wanna make one quick little pass just to get the gi in position. And then once I get it there, I can kinda of clean it up and get my grip as tight as I possibly can. I wanna get in as far as I can so I set up this grip one time. I don't wanna start low because if I start low, it takes two hands to get it high versus if it's already high, I can always bring my hand back down to open it up. So I make my first grip here nice and tight and then I'm gonna make pressure again. And I can lock my hands here while I kinda of hide that lapel over here and I have this free hand anytime I need it to move my body, okay? So I made my first initial pass here and I'm gonna make lots of pressure on Chris's head here. That's gonna force Chris to wanna push back in my direction. When he pushes back, I open my hand up and my right hand is gonna go palm up inside of his lapel right here, okay? And now I have that baseball bat grip. Now watch, I'm gonna take my right hip and I'm gonna do a really quick little hip switch. I switch my hips and I could probably get a tap right here, but I wanna create more pressure. So I'm gonna take my left leg right up under the head here, lock my legs together and squeeze. So once I get to that sit out, leg goes over the head, other leg crosses, boom, and there's a squeeze. So again, one more time from side control. I create lots of pressure here so I can get that gi lapel opened up. I bring the thumb and I whip it open and I pass it. And then I can adjust and kind of make it tight and get in the position I really want it in. Then I start creating a lot of pressure by driving my shoulder towards my hand and that lapel. So I create that pressure. That gets Chris to want to push back. When he pushes back, I'm going to slide my hand out, bring it inside here. Hip switch, leg goes over the head. I cross the legs if I can. And my arms now are cutting. So they're doing that baseball bat grip where I'm cutting into the neck here. So I'm just like this, cutting down into the neck. My elbows are crossing. My leg goes over the head as they cross and squeeze. Now, if Chris comes up right here, it's okay. I'm gonna keep him nice and tight here. And now I'm gonna turn my body towards the floor like I'm twisting. And what really works here is because Chris is in side control, he wants to keep this position. He doesn't want to give up side control. He feels like he's even winning right now. But again, I still have that grip on his neck. So right from here, I'm gonna turn my body towards the floor. If he stays in side control, he's gonna to go to sleep. If he rolls over my body, it's okay. I can again, boom, right back to here again. Boom, okay, so one more time from side control. I'm gonna create lots of pressure with my shoulder here into the head. Hand comes out. I'm gonna grab that lapel, whip it over to the arm. And again, it's through the armpit behind the shoulder here. I make my first initial grip here. Now look, I start creating lots of pressure against the shoulder, against the head with my shoulder. He pushes back. I come out a little bit. My hand slides inside. I hip switch, leg over the head. Boom, and I squeeze. If he comes up, I turn my body towards the floor and I keep squeezing. If he rolls over my body again, we just keep playing the same game. And at one point here, boom, I'm gonna get that tap. Give it a try, ninjas. Oh, 